Chemistry is the central science. Everything around you is chemistry. So from the hair products you might use to the food you eat, they're all chemicals. And by being a chemist, you can understand that normal chemicals are bad. And actually, you can create some incredibly useful things for mankind, whether it be new drugs or new materials for making a new laptop. During your undergraduate, you'll spend a large amount of time in the teaching labs, where you'll learn the basic skills. But by the third year, we really want you to get a more realistic experience of what it's like to be in an industrial lab. So you'll work on a mini project with a group of other students working slightly different aspects of the same area. The experiment we've been set is to create a monomer, which is a small chemical unit, and then synthesise it into a polymer, which is lots of these units joined together. So just a really small chemical in a long chain. Last two weeks, we have been making this monomer, which we call GMAC. It's the smaller parts of these large chains that we're making that form something called a hydrogel which is sort of like a contact lens. It's like a plastic that gets bigger when you put water in it and it also becomes soft. We've been making it through seven different routes to determine which of these will produce the highest purity of the monomer and which will produce the highest yield with respect to the cost. So we also want to find out which way is the cheapest way to manufacture this in bulk. What we're trying to do is find the best way to synthesize it. So we take the monomer um, and we heat it overnight, sometimes we will leave it just at room temperature overnight and just see which route produces the best purest monomer. And then we also polymerise it and try and see which route gives us the most monomer, so the highest yield of it. I have made these monomers, these are four of the routes here, and I am analysing them to determine their purity and to, well, just to make sure that we actually made the monomer that we think we've made. We'll be doing that using NMR spectroscopy, both hydrogen and carbon, and a technique called gas chromatography slash mass spectrometry, allowing us to figure out the weight of the components of the mixture. We've managed our work by subdividing um, all our targets, and then we come together every evening to discuss what we've done, and it's working. <laughs> so it's definitely something that I can use when I then go on to get a job. Studying chemistry at the University of Sheffield, there's so many different good things. The, the fact that they focus on your adaptability to your skills at work, so whether you're going into chemistry or not, you have the skills that employers are looking for and you can actually do things that aren't just chemistry. Also you get to use different techniques that quite a lot of people don't get to use in other universities because we have the specialist equipment. Like undergraduates have their own NMR machines, you get to go and put your own sample in. And also you just, you feel supported here, like the staff are always wanting to help, there's graduate students that are always around, everyone's just trying to help you along your way to getting your degree and getting the best out of the university that you can. Chemists make life better. We take the fundamental understanding of the building blocks of life and use this to produce new products and materials for the world around us. And at the University of Sheffield, we're training the next generation of chemists to do just this.